Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers now, where it's my brethren all across the Ukraine. Shout out to the Ukraine. Speaking of Ukraine, um, let there be no debate. Let there be no uh, arguments. Let there be no quarrels about who is the pound for pound king of boxing. The pound for pound king of boxing after Saturday night should not even be a discussion. Um, there's, there's plenty of great fighters in boxing, but only one really deserves to be called pound for pound best in boxing right now. And that is none other than Vasily Lomachenko. Um, yeah, he's 10 and 1, but undebatably, he is the best fighter in boxing right now. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying, I've heard people say Golovkin, Terrence Crawford, that those guys are pound for pound king. But you got to look at it, man, like, Rigondeaux, this fight between Rigondeaux and Lomachenko was the first time two two-time gold medalists fought each other. This is also a fight where many people on YouTube um, and in the boxing world, they looked at, looked at this fight as if it were a fight between two guys on equal standing. But those of us really in the know knew that this was not a fight with two guys on equal standing because we knew Lomachenko is better than Rigan Diao. And I, I, I told you guys in my prediction video, I, I told you that, look, Lomachenko is the more versatile fighter. And because of that, he's going to beat Rigan Diao, And that's what he did. Um, Rigan Diao couldn't handle... The, the the different dimensions that Logan Pacheco was showing him, and that's what it was. So when you when when you look at it this way, like if you see a fighter who is a two time gold medalist, I'm talking I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking about Rigondeaux. If you see a fighter who is a two time gold medalist, undefeated boxer, pound for pound fighter, and then following a fight where he was looked at to be equal to this guy, you're saying that. Oh, unfortunately, this guy is not good enough for, you know, said fighter. Then the guy who is making him quit and stopping him and making him look like he's a C-class fighter, um, that guy has to be pretty damn good. And and Lomachenko is a lot better than pretty damn good. He's he's with ten fights, in, in my opinion. You know, you know, how can you not say he he's an all-time great? How can you not say he's an all-time great? I mean, name me a fighter in the history of boxing who who, who comes straight into the pros and he's he's beating the he's beating the guy these guys. Um, these world championship fighters and not just beating them, but making them quit. You know, yeah, he had a loss to Salido, um, but that was a fight where, like, like it's been documented before. He fought Salido. He wasn't used to the pro game. There was a lot of veteran tactics, dirty tactics that Salido used in that fight that maybe Lomachenko didn't know how to handle. Fair play, but it was still a close fight. It was a fight where he had a success as it, as he learned on the job, and he learned on the job, and it made him better. And from that point forward, he's pretty much just gone on his own revenge tour through whoever they decide to put up, put in front of him. So, you know, Gary Russell Jr., he was looked at to be this, the next big thing, uh, the next Floyd Mayweather, the next American boxing star. Uh, they brought him along slowly. He fought can after can after can. They finally put him in Lomachenko. Lomachenko beat him. Um, then, you know, Lomachenko goes on, you know, goes on. He beats the likes of guys like, you know, Aroma Martinez, not the best fighter in the division, but a respectable world champion, knocks him out cold. Then he fights the Axeman, a Nicholas Walters, a, a guy who was looked at to be a, a, a pound for pound, uh, lower pound for pound fighter uh, at the height of his career. Um, makes him quit, say no mas um, to Nicholas Walters. He has been the same since. Jason Sosa, a guy who was a, a good world champion in his career, um, a guy that's you know overachieved, but still one of the better fighters in the division, world championship fighter, makes him quit. Fights Miguel Mariaga. Mariaga is a guy that just went life and death with Oscar Valdez, who's looked at, who's who was looked at to be the one of the top fighters, the class of 126. He brought him up to 130, so we get it. It was fighting in the weight class, but still a tough fighter, a game fighter, a guy who doesn't have the word quit in his vocabulary made him quit. Then we get to Rigan Diao, and he does exactly the same thing to a guy that the boxing, many in the boxing media, particularly here on YouTube. Um, we're hyping up. Oh, he was this. Oh, he was that. He was, you know, what well, he was. He was ducked, which he was. But I'm saying, they're, they're talking about Lomachenko. Oh, Lomachenko ducked him. Lomachenko's afraid of him. They're trying to get him out of boxing. All this nonsense. And when it came time to perform, when it came time to cast a check that your mouth wrote, the man said no mas. He said no mas. And Lomachenko is a great fighter, man. Um, when you when you when you can make a guy like Regan Diao quit the way he did after all the crap he talked, 
um, and, and, and make him look like a guy that just didn't want to even be in the ring, who looked like he hated boxing. Um, what, what else can you say, man? The guy showed it all. He showed, he showed the inside fighting, the outside fighting, the footwork, the defense, the offense. What more does this man got to show you? It, 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 it's, it's funny to me because I'll see people – like with 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 Lomachenko, they'll say, "Oh, well, he can't be pound for pound number one. He just he just now in my top ten pound for uh, top five pound for pound. How could he be only in your top? Five? How in the hell is a fighter who's making guys like Nicholas Walters quit on the stool? How is that guy not already in your top five pound for pound? I I, I don't get it, man. Like Nicholas Walters is a, is, a, is a really good fighter, and he he'll beat up on a lot of guys in the weight class. So what I'm saying, man, is like." Just, 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 just give the man his due. Just give the man his due. The man is best fighter in boxing right now. Uh, when, 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 um, Terrence Crawford, like, no disrespect to Terrence Crawford, I, he's one of my favorite fighters. Like, and I probably, been, I probably been a Terrence Crawford fan longer than most people who hate on this video um, have been. But like, Terrence Crawford, like, he's a good fighter, man. But like, let's let 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 us let's, let's keep it real. The guy at one forty, okay. It wasn't the most impressive run at 140, nor was it at 135. He's been beating up on smaller dudes in you know, his whole career, pretty much. Um, he rehydrates like 170, damn near 170 on fight night. So that's not to diminish his skills. He does have a lot of skill and like wins against Felix Diaz and, and become undisputed. That's fantastic. And if you want to say he's pound for pound number one because he's undisputed, then you, that, that's fine because undisputed means something. But he ain't making these dudes quit. Like like Lomachenko is, and he's not making these. He's not, he's not looking as sensational as Lomachenko is, and he's not showing as much variation of his fight game as Lomachenko is, and that's what pound for pound is. It's showing the whole arsenal. It's showing your skill set, and Lomachenko has has fought the opposition, world championship opposition, to allow him to show that uh, that skill set. Maybe Crawford hasn't, which is why I'm excited for this upcoming fight with Jeff Horn because it's going to be a new style for him. But until he does, until he until he um actually gets that chance to really show it off against um the top guys you know guys who will really test his skill set um you, you can't really put him pound for pound number one um over Lomachenko because Lomachenko's opposition is just way better than Crawford's like you can't find me a name on Crawford like and this speak coming from a Terrence Crawford fan you can't find me a name on Crawford's resume that is 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 anywhere near a Rick and Dial caliber or a, a Nicholas Walters caliber you can't making him quit not not just being him making him quit that that that's that's unheard of to make four straight fighters in a row, three of them which were world champions uh, at some point in their career, being Ricky Dow, Walters, and Sosa, making them quit. I mean, we all we all give Sugar Ray Leonard props for, for, for making Roberto Duran quit. So why 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 are some people reluctant to not give Lomachenko his credit when they, when he makes fighters quit? Like, come on, man! Like, get the man his due. Um, what should he do next? Like, the the ideal thing would be to. You only have a couple options, you know. For me personally, and I'll, be, I'll just be honest with you, I, I know a lot of people want to say, like, oh, he should go unify the division, which is great. If he wants to stay there and do that, I'll support that decision. But if he says he wants to go to 135, I'm definitely for that because I think that's where he needs to go to get competition. He's not going to – the Brajel to the world and all these other world champions at 130, like, they're not going to do it. They, they got nothing for Lomachenko. They're good fighters, but they got nothing for Lomachenko. He'll school them. He'll, he'll, he'll destroy them all. He's got the pro experience. Like, first of all, from a skill standpoint – he was already ahead of everybody when he came in the boxing because of the amateur experience. It was just about getting used to the pro game. And because of the Salido fight, he's not, and, and now fighting all these other world championship fighters, he's got that experience. So unless he's gonna, he's fighting someone significantly bigger than him who can offer up something for him like as far as like power, he's he, there's really not many guys at 130 that can do anything with him, to be honest with you. So for him to get a, a real challenge, he'll have to go fight a Mikey Garcia. He might have to fight a Terrence Crawford. I mean, shit. He might. He might have to fight a Manny Pacquiao. Like, like that. That. That's. That's what we're looking at with Lomachenko. Like, he might have to fight one of those type of guys to get any real challenge because he's just that much better than everybody. It's and it's no disrespect to the fighters at 130. There's some good fighters there, and if, if he wants to unify and become undisputed, then fantastic. He's more than capable of doing that. But I don't think people want to sit there because the funny thing is Lomachenko's in one of those situations where he's so good. Like he's damned if he doesn't, if he's damned if he doesn't. If he stays at 130, they're gonna say, "Damn, he's just he's just taking the easy way out, and he's fighting these he's fighting these uh, guys he can easily beat in the division to become unified champion." Then if he doesn't become unified champion, he'll go up to 135. And they're gonna say, "Damn, he should have stayed at 130, and became a unified champion." So if I'm Lomachenko, focus on what you want to do, man. If you want if you want if you want to fight Mikey Garcia, you fight Mikey Garcia. You fight Terrence Crawford. You fight whoever you want to fight. Don't worry about pleasing the fans. Like 
you can't please boxing fans. Like, and I, I can speak this as a boxing fan myself. Like, fighters, like there's some fighters who do great things in boxing that, that, that don't please me all the time. So don't worry about pleasing the boxing fans. Go what you, go for what you got to go for. And um, I don't know, man. It's just yeah, man. Go go for what you want to go for. Cause you're damned if you do, if you're damned if you don't. Um, and there's certain there's certain fans, and you guys know who I'm talking about, like the LDBC people in, why, in the, on YouTube, like. Lomachenko can go beat Anthony Joshua and stop him in the first round, and they wouldn't give the guy credit. So, um, you know, you can't please everybody. But overall, I just think from a skill standpoint and as far as the opposition he's fought this early in his career, even if it wasn't early in his career, just the opposition he's fighting back to back to back and the way he's looking against them, how can you say that that guy's not pound for pound? It's, it's not a debate. The dude is the best fighter in boxing. I think if you were, if, if you were to retire tomorrow, with his current resume, he'd go to the Hall of Fame in 10 fights, 11 fights. He'd go to the Hall of Fame. He would go to the Hall of Fame in 11 fights. And that's not to say that he's the greatest fighter of all time, but I'm just trying to illustrate to you guys when you're making guys like when you, when you, when you fight, you know, world champions like Nicholas, former guys who are world champions like Nicholas Walters and Jason Sosa and, 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 and Rick and Diao, um, and Rick and Diao being the Hall of Famer, you know, and you're making those guys quit early, like in the, Early, the, in the early to middle parts of the fights, not even the later rounds, but the early to middle parts of the fights, making these guys quit, that, that that tells you everything you need to know about Lomachenko. Um, and, you know, the, the more wins he gets, the closer he'll get. I, I don't think it's crazy that this guy could be a top 10 fighter when his career is over. I, I really don't. This guy could be one of the top 10 best fighters in boxing history if he's able to go up to 135, beat a Mikey Garcia, beat a Terrence Crawford. You know, who, who knows? If I fight, somehow a Pacquiao fight happens, you know. Who knows what future holds, man? But I'm looking forward to seeing how it unfolds. I think the guy right now um, has clearly separated himself from everybody. And if you're a Terrence Crawford, you got you can't just beat Jeff Horn. You got to make sure you look sensational against Jeff Horn. Make Jeff Horn quit to even be on the same standing with – or stop him in the first round to be in the same standing with Lomachenko. Same thing like in, in, at 147, he, he needs to get those big fights, which is going to be a challenge for him. So a lot of it's not his fault. Um, same thing for GGG, like – a lot of stuff that happens that that's happened is, is his fault, but Lomachenko's just beating best the the better opposition out of all these guys, and he's looking more sensational than everybody doing it. So how how, how can you not say he's the pound for number one? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about Lomachenko and just where do you think he ranks on the pound for pound list? I'll have my I'll have my updated pound for pound list coming out coming up soon because um, there really ain't no, no more pound for pound fighter fighters fighting this year, so it's a good time to update my list. It's been a while since I updated it, but um. Yeah, I'll be doing that soon, my, my year-end pound for pound list. And uh, unfortunately, Romo Gonzalez is, isn't on it. So for all you guys who are going to go on go in about me not having Romo Gonzalez or something about Romo Gonzalez, no, he won't be on there, so don't worry. You know, he's not a pound for pound fighter anymore. I'll have to earn that again. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And like I always say in every video, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniels. So until next time, take care, guys.